here is a game I... I'm not sure I really want to play, but... Hey, <laughs> uh, Kill me now. Just kill me with all this stuff. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... the security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, Hello? which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be a another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. You watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. So I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, so we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Boo! <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't making joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important so, thing you want to watch for so is bad. the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spokesman, and if you let that ventilation go off wide, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. So I'm guessing nothing this time around. Uh, lovely. Lovely. So, so far that he's said nothing to worry about for this night. Which means I've only got about maybe two minutes of freedom before shit kicks off. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Right, well, with those minutes. I 
I don't want to follow you. Creepy neck in that spot. Why was there a spiky table? Oh, I guess your rats or something. Oh, that. That's also lovely. <sighs> Do I really, really have... I don't feel, think I'll enjoy this. Down here's a It almost sounds like someone just keeps around the microphone. Is this supposed to be I can't can't be security because there's no computer, just a fan. B B D B L C over here and follow dude and into into something uh. okay <laughs> oh wasn't even that scary <laughs> don't know what I was expecting can I just instantly mute? Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees okay. or something like that. Hi. So I thought we could like have them playing like over so the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. Hello. But I have an even better surprise for you. You're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great I, audio that I found. I Talk to you later, man. I don't man. want to see him. I don't uh, hello? want to see him. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for Fresh Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on how to handle, slash climb into, slash climb out of, mascot costumes. Right now we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So please pay close attention Hello. while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injuries, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First we'll discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics oh, are set to turn and walk towards sound to This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd <laughs> To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, Stay over providing there. room to climb inside. Stay over there. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight Stay to ensure there. the animatronic devices remain Stay fixed. There. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Hello. Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear's people. Yep, say that. Good. Stay there where I'm so I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. <laughs> Speed up. Hello. I see him. I 
with a certain compass now. Hello? Hello? Stay there, you bitch. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. Pop over to five already, please. Over to five already. Hello? Shit. I just about got a use off, I think. Before that it failed. Should keep him searching in that room and away from me. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't say anything. Hello. die again, I guess. Because I've searched all around here. Yeah, huh? Let me go. Same, same area. Nice. Maybe it is. It is the same area, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you just found me and just chased me down, huh? That's lovely. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's without the computer, without the... Fuck you. Fuck. Shit! Animatronics, 
was in always off camera. As always, remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy Fazbear's team. Fuck, I should I should have made a noise. I should have made a noise before I went to reboot camera. <sighs> That's events. That was events. <laughs> Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Hello. fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, stay away, stay away, stay away. <laughs> fuck. That wasn't even a real one. That's... I don't want to sort out of ventilation, but I have to. I fucking hate horror games. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Hi. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm already shaking. <laughs> I'm already shaking. Why do I keep checking it? Just even bother checking it. Already there. Hey. Nope. Oh, fuck. Hello. Just jump over there. Hello. Ventilation issue. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck Scott. This is fucking horrible game. No, no, that's that's it at least for this recording. I'm off. I'm I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. That's what this game has made me do. I'm going in a corner, I'm crying there, and I'm having the lights stay on the whole time. I'm gonna set up traps around so that nothing animatronic will ever be able to walk around it. I'll see you uh, next video, maybe. I don't know. No, I'll just hide in a bunker. You won't see me ever again. Ta-ta.